everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So this is week four of the Mini Kit Monday, and I have scrapped many, many, many photos of my niece's twin girls, but I have mentioned in the past that she does have twin boys, and this is the very first page that I've done a video on of the boys. Now, the boys are teenagers now, so this photo is quite old, but I really love the photo. So I'm using um, one of the last 12 by 12 papers that I have from my kit. And I decided to go ahead and pull some stars. As you know, um, I don't have any boys. I don't know how to scrap boy pages. They're, um, they're definitely a challenge to me. So what I'm doing right here is uh, this is a chipboard star that I had from oh years ago and I threw it into the kit and I am um, painting with a Vicky Booten is a white gesso and I thought about maybe stamping on top of them but I end up just leaving them white because I think it they show up really well in this multicolored paper. I believe that's an old crepe paper. It's from a paper pad. And I'm just pulling as much scraps as I can that are kind of in boyish colors. Uh, not so much of the yellow, the golden yellow. Um, I am actually going to save that for week five. I have used this calendar paper in so many different ways um, in this kit. One of them, I used it as a calendar. The rest of it, I've used it as a background. You can't even tell that it's, you know, a calendar paper. It looks more like a graph paper or something with some texture on it. Um, I never thought that I would use it in so many different ways, uh, but you know, when you have a kit like this and you just try to make do with what you have, you can get pretty creative. So I really like the way that this is turning out. Now I'll make a confession here. Um, I thought that this was going to be my last page for the month of December. And after I completed this, I put everything away. And I can tell you the reason why is I was getting a little tired of it. And then I realized, oh, my gosh, I still have one more that I have to do. So I do have one for next week, not to worry. But all the embellishments I had already put away. Um, but I'm trying to remember what I had in the kit. Um, so you'll be able to see, see what I created. So these little um, asterisk or stars or whatever those are, uh, those are from um, Ellie Studio. has like plus signs. I put a, uh, it's a heart that is under, at the bottom of that tag. The tag says, sorry, I had to get it closer to me. It says happy fun times. And then it has that little green heart at the bottom. You'll be able to see that in the close up, not to worry. So the foam words, you know, there was only like three words left and I wanted to use at least one of those words for this. And so I already knew when I saw this photo that I wanted to say, let's hear it for the boys. Since I haven't done one stinking page about the boys yet, so we are definitely going to hear it for the boys. Now, also, these are Ellie Studio um, Alpha. They're little stickers. They come in a multitude of colors. Uh, I think this is the second time I've used this color green. Thought it was very boyish. Um, I trying to use up as many different colors as I can. It would be easy to use the black, but it seems like that's the color I use the most. So. I thought I would branch out, try something different. Now, by putting it on this ruler, it gives me a chance to kind of audition different spots where to put the title. And I thought, well, maybe I'll put it down here at the bottom right. But it ends up going up here above the photo. And then even whenever I put it um, you know, up at the top, just even the placement of it, you would think that I would um, have it perfectly centered, but it, it doesn't always work out that way. Now, for me, 
I always feel like I have fat fingers and it works better for me to use tweezers to, um, you know, to place the, the, the letters. I use tweezers a lot. I use it for my sequins. I, it helps keep my fingers clean as well. So I get a little, you know, testy about that. Now, don't forget to look in my description box of all the other ladies who are part of the Mini Kit Monday. Um, we have a group of ladies that um, it's not always the same group every month. We have new ones that come in and then some that can't do it for the month, which is A-OK. -okay. So if anyone is interested in being a part of this, it is not um, exclusive. It is for all scrappers. So if this is something that you would like to participate in, please let one of us know and that way we can get your information so that we can put um, put it in the in each of our description boxes. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure cuz I know a lot of these um, series are kind of invitation only and um, I, basically, I am inviting you, but it is not, you know, exclusive to just a set group of people. It is open to anyone. And I think that's what scrapbooking should be. Now, I did adjust my um, my video for it to be up a little closer. And then I see it's not very focused. So I don't know if I just need to clean my screen or what, but... I'm sorry if it's a little out of focus. So the sequence that I'm using is All American is by Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'm using the dark blue. I'm using the little gold stars. Uh, I've used, there's like a wood grain uh, sequin. Um, it has almost everything that's in that little packet, but I certainly want it to be as boyish as I can get it. There's no splatters on this, um, but what I use to glue the sequins on is, is a um, Distress Collage Medium. It's a Tim Holtz product. I got it at Michael's, and I used my 40% off coupon. I think it cost me around, I don't know, $5. This uh, little pot has lasted me quite some time, so it's well worth it. So we're getting towards the end. I want to say thank you for joining me today. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Alrighty, bye-bye.